Hey y'all, so this is my last day in Detroit. I'm not really doing nothing today. I set up my best friend house most of the day. My check engine light came on again. And my throat is scratchy as fuck, so I don't really feel good. Um, <clears throat> but I'm about to go get me a chicken pita and then I'm going home to pack my bags. So, I don't really have anything else to do. I was trying to run on my friend so we could go get sushi. But I just figured I want a chicken pita because it's my last day here and I can get sushi in Georgia. So that's what I'm about to get right now. Um, it's kind of bittersweet because it's like I want to tomorrow. Well, I need to be home. I don't even want to go back home for my job in all honesty because I don't really give a fuck about that job. So it's kind of like I just need to be home because I have a makeup class on Sunday. And then on Saturday I have a um, Keisha's casting call thing to go to. So yeah, I got uh, some shit to do. So I don't really have time to bullshit up here no more. <laughs> Or like be up here no more i wish i could stay the weekend but i can't so i'll be on the road tomorrow i went and got my car looked at again because the check engine light came back on and the guy said that it may be the fuel injector pump but he tightened all the bolts and it's not gonna stop me from from um being able to get home so as long as i make it to georgia then i should be straight i can figure it out from there one thing I'm not going to miss is these fucked up ass roads. I know that. Alright, I'll talk to you in a minute. I need to focus. Hey, y'all. Uh, so, I'm in, um, I don't know where my car is for my charger. It's about to die, but I'm actually in Ohio. I'm leaving Michigan now. I'll continue this on my phone, actually. I had to stop and get me some coffee because, hold on. Hello? Hello? I had to stop and get me some coffee because I was falling asleep. I was, I'm tired. Um, so I'm about to get some coffee and some espresso. I might go over to Panera and get me a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. <clears throat> my throat was itchy and scratchy yesterday. I didn't feel good. But I went and got, um, what did I get? I did peroxide. I gargled with peroxide. I gargled with sea salt water. Well, water with salt. I put, I've been drinking alcohol seltzer so I feel a lot, lot better. My throat felt like it was on fire yesterday. Here, trying to debate on if I should um, get a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich because I don't want to get tired on the road, but I really want one. I'm kind of hungry a little bit. Well, I'm not really hungry, but I feel like I just want one because I haven't had one in a long time. Well, maybe I should. Uh, this Panera has a drive through so I could just drive through, get me a sandwich, get me some honey, and be done with it. My face is so fucking chunky. <clears throat> Leaving Detroit was kind of bittersweet because I was ready to go, but then at the same time, I kind of was like, um, I don't know. I didn't want to go. I don't know. So y'all know the guy that I came to Detroit to talk to or whatever? I'm like, he hasn't said anything else to me. Like, I don't know. And I kind of was in my feelings about it, but I just had to like come from that because I'm just like, Alexis, get over it. It's okay. Like, I'm not taking that back to Georgia with me. So I'm glad that I got to talk to him to begin with. And yeah, I'm just not taking that back to Georgia with me. So I've cut all ties. I'm not going to respond to anything. I'm done with it. Hey y'all. So I got y'all on the um, on the phone. Cause my battery died on my camera and I don't know where the fucking charger is at. But um y'all know I was kinda worried about my car because the check engine light was on yesterday, but it's doing good so far. So hopefully I will make it. Well I prayed about it and I know I'm going to make it all the way to Georgia in this car. Uh, I won't like break down or anything. I was more nervous when I um actually came here than I am going back. So I'm about to come out of Ohio in a second, I think. Yeah, I'm about to come out of Ohio in a minute. So, I'm um, because I just seen the children's health care thing, and I know that's kind of like where the border is for Ohio and stuff. So, so, I stopped at Speedway, went to the bathroom. I didn't get like a slushie or anything. I have two free slushies with Speedway, but I'm kind of burnt out on slushies, in all honesty. Oh, uh, shit. Slushies to begin with. So, I don't know about that. My throat feels a lot, lot, lot better. My throat was hurting so bad last night. I was like, what the heck? Yeah, I feel so much better. I was sitting here just thinking or whatever. Um, 
about like all my best like so y'all know I started the little it works thing. I signed up for that and I think about I'm starting to I'm thinking about this other business endeavor that I'm want to um get into. So yeah, I'm just ready to be at home now. I still have like six, seven hours of driving. So the question will be, will my car make it to Georgia? <laughs> That's the question, for real. I'm so glad my throat feeling better. But I swallow, it's not feeling. Yesterday, that shit was horrible. And I'm glad I'm kind of in some cool, some warmer weather. So I'm getting further to, I mean, down, like, further into Ohio, like near Kentucky. It's 63 degrees. That's one thing I love about driving, because when you drive, when you start going further down south, it's like it gets warmer and warmer and warmer. It's supposed to be 70 in Detroit today. I wish I was going to be there, but I'm like, dang, I got to go back. And I was sitting here debating on what I wanted to, um, what I wanted to wear to this casting call tomorrow because I don't even have an outfit for that. I think I need to go to the mall when I get home. When I get home about 6.30, the GPS said. All right, so I just wanted to call and check in with y'all. Yeah, I should be in Kentucky in any minute. Any minute. Ohio was like the longest drive ever in life. So, my job, my supervisor calls me like, are you coming back? Because I know that you are unhappy at this job. So, I'm like, if I wasn't coming back, I would have told you that I wasn't coming back. I don't have no issue with telling you that. Like, I'm really not pressed. It's not that serious for me. So, he like, okay. I'm like, I should be back Thursday. Mind you, I wake up on Thursday. And I wake up on Wednesday and my check engine light is on again. Wake up on Thursday and my check engine light is on again. So I had to keep go keep going to get my car checked by different mechanics to make sure it's okay to drive to Georgia. So yesterday my supervisor called like I thought she was gonna be back today. I'm like, um my check engine light was on so I wasn't able to. So I'll be back on Monday. I'm I'm leaving out tomorrow, which is today, which is Friday. So he's like, You need to call the Okay, so he calls and he's like, oh, you need to call your department manager and let him know um, what's going on with you. And I'm just like, if I told you, why the hell do I got to call him too? And first off, my department manager is so condescending. Like, he doesn't give a fuck, for real. He tries to act like he care, but he doesn't. So, therefore, I don't even feel like dealing with that. Like, calling him and explaining the situation and him acting like he care. All he care about is the phones being answered. That's it. He don't care nothing about your well-being. He don't care nothing about how you doing. He don't care nothing about your mental, how you how you doing mentally. He does not he doesn't care. doesn't care whatsoever. So, I'm just like, yeah, I'm not going to call him. I'll be there Monday. I'll see y'all Monday. And then Monday, I don't have no job. That's totally fine, too. Like, it just is what it is. I didn't feel like I was going to come into that job to begin with. For some reason, in my gut, it was telling me that. So, we'll just see what happens. Shit. Like, at this point, I really don't have shit to lose. I really... The only reason why I rushed back to Georgia was really because I have that casting call tomorrow for Keisha. And I'm supposed to help her with that. And then Sunday, I have a makeup class. Them the only two reasons why I'm going back to Georgia right now. Like, if I didn't have that, I probably would still be in Detroit. Like, I just need a break. So, it just is what it is at this point. Like... I don't know, nothing really scares me. I'm not afraid of shit right now. It's kind of like, you get so caught up in these jobs and you just like, oh my God, if I lose my job, what am I going to do? But it's like, you can't even afford to pay shit now that you, with the job. Like, so what, dif what difference does it make? It makes no difference. Uh, I'm in traffic. The GPS told me to go up and come back down on the exit for some reason. So I guess I'll do that. I had to talk to y'all in a minute because my throat is getting a little scratchy. I'm about to drink some water. I'm about to come out of Ohio on the bridge. I love this bridge. I think it's so pretty. To Kentucky. I'm in Kentucky. I'm in Kentucky. Finally. Shit. After five hours. Y'all see that Kentucky sign? I thought my tire was about to come off, y'all, but it didn't. So, we good. We still rolling. Thank God for that. Hey, y'all. I'm sorry I'm always in the car, but I just got back in the car. I went the speedway. Went to the bathroom. Got me a slushie. 
I'm hungry as hell, but I want to wait till I get home to eat. I'm still like two hours out. I'm almost home. I'm like two hours away. Thank God for that. Hopefully, my camera cord is in one of these bags because I'm going to need my camera for tomorrow. And that's going to be a fucking headache if I don't have it. I don't know. People get on my nerves thinking they finna get over in front of you. You finna be right behind this semi. So what the fuck? Like, I don't know why people do stupid shit like that. And look where you at. Right in front of me still. Stupid ass. Alright, y'all. So I'm kind of irritated because I am hungry. So y'all have to excuse me. I just wanted to get back on. Let you know I am in Tennessee. When I get to Georgia, I will show y'all the Georgia sign. Of course. I was not recording that whole time. Okay. So I'm in Georgia. I tried to get the sign for y'all, but it was not working. So I didn't get it. Um, but I'm happy I'm in Georgia. I would say my car made it, but we still have two more hours to go. So hopefully it will make it. And yeah, so I'm going to get me some tacos when I get to my side of town. And then go my butt in the house. I want to do me like a face mask because my skin needs it. Um, yeah, it needs it. So I'm just going to be relaxing and chilling tonight. I have an eventful weekend. I'm excited about that. So y'all, I'm here. I made it home. I'm getting some food. I'm about to get some food and got my butt in the house. Um, coming back home made me realize that I do like Georgia. I like the feel of it. I like the fresh air. I like the way it looks. I like how it makes me want to be outside. Um, this is my home. It is. I can't deny that. I can't be like, oh, I don't know. Detroit gives you a different vibe. It's a city. It's different. You know what I'm saying? It's different. I don't know. I'm happy to be home, dog. For real. I'm really am. I'm about to get some food. Alright, y'all. So, I made it home. Um, my car did make it. It's not making, like, any loud noises or anything. So, that's really, really good. So, thank God for that. Hey, y'all. I was about to say happy Sunday. But when y'all see this, it probably won't be Sunday. But today is Sunday, nonetheless. And I'm going to my makeup class with Alexandra Butler. She's a makeup artist here in Georgia. It's a personal makeup class. So it'll just teach me how to do my own makeup and how to be better at my own makeup. So I'm excited about that. My neck looks dark for some reason. It's annoying. But, um, yeah, I'm about to go, get ready to go today. It starts at 10 o'clock. It's like 9 something now. The place is only like 25 minutes away from my house. But I'm about to leave out kind of early because I think I do want to get some coffee. Um, I wanted to put some gym shoes on. I wanted to be comfortable. It is Sunday, and on Sundays, I like to just be chill. I don't like to dress up. I don't like to do anything. I feel like Sunday is the start of the week. When I get back, I think the class ends at like 2-something. <clears throat> when I get back from the class, I'm going to prioritize what the fuck I need to do so I have a lot of things that I need to do a lot of things I need to accomplish and I need to prioritize those things so that I can work towards each thing and I need to understand that to work on one thing at a time because I get overwhelmed sometimes or I feel like anxious about it it's crazy because I was happy to get back to Georgia but in Detroit I didn't really have any worries if that makes sense it was kind of like because I, I feel like I was kind of on vacation. So I knew people there and I just like didn't have to worry about a lot of stuff. But here it's like I didn't. I, the first day I came back I didn't really have peace. I was just like. <clears throat> I don't know. It just was like okay I got to do this. I have to do that. I have to do this. I have to do this. So y'all know I signed up for the little, for It Works. And I got the facial cleanser in the mail yesterday. And I actually I like it. But it, I think it kind of takes some getting used to. Because it's like. Mine didn't lather that much for some reason, but I like it because it did make my skin look really, really good. I did have makeup on though, so I had to like use my makeup wipes, and my makeup wipes weren't getting my makeup off like that. I think I'm going to consistently use it though, because I feel like my skin is a lot softer just from using it that one time. I was listening to my car, it sounded like crap. Alright, so I'm about to be on my way to the class. I'm excited, but I'm kind of nervous at the same time. I can't wait. <clears throat> I ain't even charging my phone up last night. I'm on 18%. So, I was about to say. I feel like I got to start driving for my car to act right. What the fuck? So annoying. Alright, y'all. So, I'm about to go to the class. 
And I was gonna stop and get some coffee, but I have like a little sweet tea and I put the greens on the go on there. You know the greens on the go. The greens on the go is what I ordered from it works. It's like 32 servings of like your vegetables and stuff. So I put that in there so we'll see how that tastes. And yeah, I'm about to be on my way to the class. Y'all, I'm here. It did actually just take 25 minutes, so that was not bad at all. And yeah, and I have to pay for parking. I just looked on the thing and it said that the parking garage is ten dollars, but I think this is six dollars, so I might as well do the six dollars instead of the ten dollars. That just made more sense. And it's, this is right across the street, so it's not bad. It's like in the parking deck, and then I can just walk across into the actual thing. So I hate paying for parking though, but I mean, it just is what it is at this point. <clears throat> I don't know how to do this. It's on. I thought there was something wrong with it. Y'all, I'm mad as hell because I just put six dollars in this damn thing. I couldn't find the last dollar, and it like canceled the payment. So now I have to pay another six, well, another seven dollars. What the fuck? I'm mad. I'm about to be late, fucker. I'm about to be late messing around with this that gone parking thing. So now I just paid seven, thirteen dollars for parking. It's supposed to be only seven dollars. I thought had the money to pay for it. That could have been my last six. And I'd have been like, damn, I don't have no money to pay for parking. So, it just is what it is, whatever. <sighs> so, I'm about to go in now. I gotta go across the street. The Tesla is my favorite car, but I do not like the Tesla SUV. I think that shit is so ugly. So fucking ugly. All right, y'all, I'll talk to y'all when I get in I'll show y'all when I get in there. Cause I need to hurry up, cause it's, I'm about to say, I'm pretty sure it's past the time. It's 10 2. Just eating up this cereal My music is venereal I clear the road from a newfound soul We smoke and drink I'm just trying to get my stories told I'm just the ordinary bro With extraordinary flow 